Hello and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today I would like to introduce you to an important Japanese print from our permanent collection. This is one of the pieces from the 32 Customs and Manners series, which was printed in 1888 by Tsukioka Yoshitoshi, who was one of the most important and innovative artists of the time. One of the reasons why he is considered so innovative is even though he did stick somewhat to the traditional woodblock print canon, he used very innovative colors and he also had very bold design. And for the time, some of his works were almost shocking. And I think this image really kind of sums that up. When you look at this print, you see a very strong red diagonal at the bottom of the picture plane and the woman is somewhat angled above it. It's really a very simple composition, but the dramatic angles really sort of make it a game changer in the canon of Japanese prints. In addition, she's got a lot of wonderful layers and aspects to her traditional dress that I want to talk to you about. So let's look at some details. One thing you may notice when you look at this print is that the woman is wearing multiple layers. This is not at all uncommon for a court lady, depending on the era and the time of year, multiple kimonos, sometimes as many as 11, could be worn to, of course, keep the wearer warm, and it's also a signifier of opulence. The high collar next to the woman's neck is called a nagajiban, and then we have multiple layers going out, culminating in the beautiful kimono. When we zoom in around her waist area, notice all the marvelous colors and textures that this master printer has conveyed in such a small area. We see some type of jewelry with dangling chains. Next to that, we see her fan uh, sticking out of the top of her obi. And right below the arrow that I have placed in this slide, look directly beneath it. This pattern that at first looked abstracted on her outermost kimono is, is actually a series of flying geese, and you can see the little goose head right under the arrow. I also want to talk a little bit about the series itself, 32 Customs and Manners. What Yoshitoshi was doing in this series is picturing women from different eras throughout Japanese history exemplifying these traits. For example, this one is looking amused, and you can see her elegantly covering her mouth with her kimono sleeve as she chuckles at something that ostensibly is off the balcony below her. While we don't own the complete set of all 32, other aspects of this series are looking cool, looking smoky, looking in pain, and so on. And of course, all of the other aspects in this series continue to display Yoshitoshi's innovative style and exuberant color palette. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.